The Ministry of Youth and Sports, Honorable Wakari Wai Baji, on Monday, 6 May 2024, visited the Independent Stadium in Bakau to inspect the second phase of the ongoing renovation work. The visit reveals promising advancements in the second phase of the stadium refurbishment, showcasing tangible progress in the remodeling process. Honorable Baji's visit aimed to gather first hand information on the project's advancement. Accompanied by the stadium's general manager, Mr. Ibufai, he taught the facilities currently undergoing renovation. Following the brief tour, the sports minister emphasized that the inspection conducted by the Confederation of African Football was prompted by the ministry's effort to improve the stadium. He underscores that the ongoing second phase aligns with CAF standards. I mean that CAF wants us. And again, I want to take this opportunity to reiterate that CAF's visit the last time was not a CAF-initiated activity. It was a ministry-initiated activity based on what we were doing. And our intention for them to come and look at what our plan is and advise us on whether it is good enough to meet CAF standard or not. And what they said was of we task ourselves to do in the first phase was not good enough and we needed to act. But it came at the right time when work was still going on and then they can be able to look at it. And that's what happened. So the second phase, like you all saw, is, uh, com includes some demolitions, as you would see, uh, with um, the, the media center and the media tribune and uh, the press conference center, which is a big issue for CAF. So, the area that is reserved on the democracy, as we call it, is going to occupy about 50 seats of the journalists. And those seats are coming along with um, uh, their desk and uh, plugs and other internet access. That will be for the media. And the one right behind us is where the media will now have their press conference on one part. And on the other part, it will be for the media briefing. I mean, for the media to prepare their stories and be able to send them uh, during halftime or at the end of the match or any time. So you can do all your work here with everything being available. And then the other part, like Mr. Fai explained, is the landscaping. So we have two areas of landscaping. On this part is the soft part, which is going to have the Bahama grass and flowers to beautify the area. And on the other part, the outer part, there will be a complete slab, which is the hard land surfacing, which is going to go around the entire stadium. And those, those are the areas also we would have our parking lots. And the parking lots, according to the requirement, is supposed to be numbered and it's supposed to have zones. So if you're coming to, example, the east zone, you know that my parking lot would be uh, park east zone, maybe parking lot number three or number five or number 20. So every vehicle that is coming, if you buy a ticket to coming, then you know that you're supposed to park on that side because that's where your seat is going to be. Same thing with the numbering of the seats of the stadium. Each seat on that, in that stadium is going to have a number and uh, people would be expected to know their ticket. When they buy their tickets on their ticket, the number would be there. You don't have to worry about anything, you just come you know you are in zone A, you are in seat number 10, you go and sit on those areas. So those are the security aspects. And the, the, the outer fencing, which is the outer perimeter, is going to fence at the entire stadium. So right here is where the fence will be placed and it's going to be metal. And the construction company is here, Jigo, that are going to do that. So they will run the metal fence across the entire main bowl. And then you will have only entrance gates in the major areas. Like if you come in, in the VIP area, you will have an entrance gate that leads you in. If you go to the scoreboard, like we call it area, you will have an entrance gate that takes you in. The same thing with all the four zones. And those will be the only entrance gate that will lead to the city. And it's not going to be as open as it is right now. And uh, the fence, um, the requirement is that we need to make it higher than it is. So in areas where there were visible cracks or the, the engineers recommend that they are going to demolish it, they will demolish. As you saw on that part, you will see them demolishing those areas. On the other part, they have also demolished those fences and they're going to put up a new fence. But in areas where it's considered strong enough, they will just increase the height and everything would be at the same level at the end of the day. In addressing reporters, Honorable Baji acknowledged the delays in progress attributing them to insufficient funding. He outlined plans for a third phase of renovation to address the stadium's evolving needs. And, uh, Delayed as it might be, we all know what the problem was. Um, it was an issue of funding, but eventually we were able to, to get the funds. And now we have started the work and we look forward to its uh, successful completion and for us to hold our matches. Of course, there will be a third phase. Let me, let me say that. Mm -hmm. There will be a third phase because, again, one thing like Mr. Fai said earlier, the stadium was built in the 80s, in 1981 coming to 84 when it was open. And from that time to now, it's 40 years. A lot has changed in football that we all know. So the fact that the stadium has not undergone any major renovation, it requires a lot of changes. But these are expensive capital projects that government cannot fund 
uh, at the on, on the at the beginning from from the beginning to all the way. So what we did is to put them in phases. So there will be a third phase because right now we are not doing the floodlights, but we can go on marches without the floodlights because you can pray during the day. You don't have to need. I mean, you don't need the floodlights. Um, the tax also is in the third phase, including the secondary field, which is the training ground that is supposed to be at the other side. All of those things are not coming under this phase. So those will be what is considered third phase. But to answer the queer calf issue, calf is part of this process. From their visit last year, they got involved. In fact, they got involved from the beginning because when we started the job, we shared our information with them. And that was why they came on the ground to see what was happening and guided us to say, include this and this. Now, when we did the entire job, we put them in second and third phase. When we sent it to CAF, they, there was an advice. There were some things that they've lifted from the third phase and said, no, put it in the second phase. Example, the fence that we are talking about. Mm. Our intention was to put it in the third phase because it's very expensive to put a, a metal fence around the entire stadium. But CAF recommended that, no, you could, we cannot put it in the third phase. You need to bring it to the second phase because that will be part of the security features that we're looking at when they come. So they've been advising and, and uh, you know, like I said, the document was sent to them. They reviewed it and they sent us back their comments and we incorporated their comments and that's what we're doing. So we believe that there would not be any reason for further recommendations asked per our agreement based on what is the minimum needed standards for us to play here. Expanding on the financial aspects, Honorable Baje provided insight into the monetary requirements for the stadium's renovation. We spent, uh, like we said earlier on, the initial budget was about 160 million. We spent about uh, 130 million. Now the second phase is 153 million. So if you add 153 plus 130, 30, 130 million, it gives you what? 280 million. Yeah, so 280 million, some hundreds is what the, the anticipated first and second phase is going to be. Based on, um, yes, in fact, the third phase is even more expensive, which includes the tracks, the floodlights, and the secondary phase out there. Um, but um, they, they, the Ministry of Works, which uh, unfortunately they're not here, are the ones that are essentially running the projects because they are the, the, the government body responsible for works, and they are the ones that do the, the assessments, and they are the ones that work with the contractors to, to do most of the costing and everything. And then, uh, you know, for us, it's more of receiving the document from the ministry to say, this is how much you need. And then we go to finance to, to look for the funding. And that's the process that has happened. But currently, the work is being supervised and managed by the Ministry of Works with the support of a technical committee. Following the stadium's suspension, the Ministry of Youth and Sport has been diligently ensuring that all necessary resources are secured. This includes procuring adequate funding, assembling a team of skilled individuals, and engaging reputable funds to carry out the extensive renovation and upgrade required for the stadium. Reporting for Kirfato, I am Ramatulai Jao.